Hi kids, how are you? Has school started yet where you're from? Because in Romania it will only start next week and I don't know about your country but here we have some rules that we have to respect during the coronavirus time. We have some new rules. We have to wear a mask, we have to keep the distance and wash our hands thoroughly. And maybe you have the same rules as well and maybe these rules worry you a bit. I know somebody else who's worried about these rules or at least she used to be. She's called Joy and she's the main character of my next story that I'm about to read to you, a story that I wrote hoping that it will put all these worries at ease. It's called The Coronavirus Doesn't Worry Joy Anymore and if you're curious to see why, then stick around and listen to the story. There was once a little girl called Joy who lived on a farm with her mommy and daddy and many baby animals. She was cute and sweet and full of love just like her animal friends. All she did all day during the summer was take care of the baby animals and cuddle with each of them to keep them happy. She also had some human friends whom she loved a lot, but she hasn't seen them in six months since the uh, kindergartens have closed down because of the coronavirus pandemic. So she had to stay at home on the farm and she decided she wanted to be in touch with them. So her mom helped her video call her friends, but it wasn't the same. Summer slowly passed and it was time for schools and kindergartens to reopen. The virus was still around and everybody had to wear a mask, keep the distance and wash their hands thoroughly at school and at home to protect themselves and the others. Mommy, I'm really worried, Joy told her mother the evening before kindergarten started. What are you worried about, my darling? Mommy asked. I'm worried that if I wear a mask, my friends won't recognize me anymore. Oh, sweetie, I bet it feels awful being worried. I know how it feels. All these rules worry me a bit too. But you know what I'm thinking about? I know for sure your friends will recognize you. And you know why? Because you are so much more than your friends face, my darling. You are also your colorful laughter and your curly hair. You are the one always dancing and singing and spreading joy all around. Ah, I never thought about that, mommy. It's true. Yeah, I think you should observe if you can recognize your friends from their other features uh, besides the face this upcoming week and when you come home let me know what is special about each of your friends how about that yes challenge accepted excellent but mommy yes i'm also worried that i won't be able to hug my friends you know how much i love doing that how will they know i love them if i don't hug them hmm how about doing an air hug what is that? An air hug is when you spread your arms like this and then you can also blow them a kiss and tell them you love them. Hmm? Can you do that? Great idea, mommy! Thanks! You're the best! I'm glad I could help. Is anything else worrying you? Mm-hmm, Joy replied. Go on then. Mm -hmm. I'm worried that I won't know how to wash my hands properly. What if I get the coronavirus? I'll be sick and I have to stay at home for another six months. I will miss my friends so much. I miss them a lot already. Hmm, I have an idea for that too. How about we watch a doctor show us how to wash our hands properly? Surely a doctor knows uh, these things the best and there are plenty of YouTube videos we could choose from. And we can practice while they explain, hmm? Then you'll be prepared! Let's do it! So Joy washed her hands carefully and afterwards she hugged her mother so tight. Her mommy was her best friend but she still couldn't wait for kindergarten to start. Now she wasn't worried anymore, she was just looking forward to seeing her friends again. And this is how the story ends. See, 
Joy was worried. She was worried that she won't be recognized by her friends with her the mask. She was worried that she couldn't show her friends how much she loves them if she doesn't hug them. And she was worried that she couldn't wash her hands properly and maybe she would get the coronavirus. Did mommy help? Yes, she did. She found a solution for each of those worries, right? I hope you liked the story and I hope you're not worried about the school or the kindergarten during these coronavirus times because all the rules are made to protect us and the others and we can all pass very, very smoothly through these times if we do the same things, right? If I respect the rules and you respect the rules, everything is going to be all right. I hope you have a beautiful new school year and that you enjoy seeing your friends again. So show them you love them from the distance and then see you at the next story. Bye kids!